on one. Fight! Well, how did my fellow peeps and welcome back to the channel, or indeed, welcome to the channel. Today is a bit special. Today, I actually have a vlogging setup set up. I'm using my uh, SLR camera and my boom mounted microphone over there, so hopefully it all works out okay. I also have a camera here and a camera here, and we're going to do a little thing. Now, some of you may remember a few years ago now, I think, uh, the uh, shop Audi, which is a German supermarket that's over here in the UK, um, got into a little bit of trouble with uh, Marks and Spencers because they uh, used a very similar looking cake and a very similar name. I think it was Colin and something else, Caterpillar. So, um, I'll put that up behind me anyway. Um, so, I started shopping there around about the same sort of time. I couldn't help but notice some similarities with other products as well but at a great reduced cost. So this video is comparing the manufacturers to the Audi version, seeing if the three or four times cost actually works out to be right. right. So stay with me and we're gonna look down and eat some lovely, lovely snacks. So then peeps, where to start? Well, we'll start with the good old British favorite, the Jaffa cake, the McVitie's Jaffa cake. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a Jaffa cake is, cake on the bottom, chocolate on top, orange jam in the middle, Jaffa cake. So of course we have the McVitie's Jaffa cakes here and we have Audi's version which just says 12 Jaffa cakes. Uh, they all spelt this name which is kind of weird but you know perhaps it's the actual name Jaffa is not trademarked, who knows. So we're going to have one of each and compare them two but uh, and it's good crack lacking. Now I have put up some graphics here to tell you cost and number in the packet and weight of the packet, that sort of thing. Uh, this is at the time of purchase, which is just before all the prices went sky high. So it might not be the same now, but that's where it was at the time of purchase. So here we have the little bit of Jaffa cakes. Aren't they lovely? Delightful. Look at that chocolate jaffiness. And then we have just here the Audi Jaffa cake. There it is, right next to each other. I don't know what you think about it, but from the looks of it, the Audi Jaffa cake is actually slightly bigger, which is strange. But let's have a look. Now, be careful using these. I am a trained professional. So don't chop your fingers off. Now watch me chop my finger off. So, McVitie's Jaffa cake. Slice through the middle, look at that. Perfect. Lovely, 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 lovely. And then the Audi Jaffa cake. Slice through the middle. There's uh, not that much difference between the two. In fact, the Audi one seems a bit bigger. So now for the ultimate taste test. McJiff, McJiffy, McJiffy, McJiffy. <laughs> McVitie's Jaffa cake. I forgot what my words were then. <laughs> yep. Soft and delicious and orangey Jaffa cake, as we all know and love. Now the Audi version. Hmm. Tastes very similar, but it's a lot drier. It's kind of like a Jaffa cake that's been left in the tin for a week or so. Oh, it's not bad, it still tastes like Jaffa cake, but it's just the, the cakey bit is a lot more crunchy. So, meh. Is it worth the uh, price difference though? No, you could get away with it. I mean, if you want to dunk them, I don't know who, do people dunk Jaffa cakes in tea? I don't, but do people dunk? I don't know. If you did that, you wouldn't know the difference. So, you know, make your own mind up. Well then, that's a controversial uh, level already with the Jaffa cake, but we'll move swiftly on. Moving swiftly on, we have another of the British nation's favorite, the Mars bar. Everyone knows the Mars bar in the UK. I believe you know the Mars bar in the US as well, because I think that's where it came from. But Audi's version, however, is called a Titan bar. Now a Titan bar, that's quite amusing because obviously Mars is a planet in the solar system. Titan is a moon of one of the planets in the solar system. So it's a good play on words there, quite amusing. That's what makes me giggle walking around Audi all the time. But we're gonna open these up and see what I like. Swing across to the uh, little infomercial to show you Cost, price, weight, that sort of thing. Mm. 
Mars and Titan. There we go. Mars and Titan. Let's have a look at the Mars bar first then. One Mars bar, isn't it lovely? And then one Titan bar. Now, ah, size wise, the Mars bar is deeper, but the Titan bar is longer. So, you know, it's probably about the same sort of weight anyway. But that information earlier would tell you anyway. But let's have a little chop, chop, chop. Oh, there we go. Okay, inside of a Mars bar, in case you don't know what one of them looks like, pretty hard to find someone in the black who doesn't. Uh, inside of a Titan bar, very similar, but again, obviously flat up for some reason. So, Mars bar. Tastes like a Mars bar shot. Titan bar. Tastes like a Mars bar shot. Um, I have one slight difference. Quite a toy dog. You're not allowed chocolate. Sorry, the dog's just grunting at me. And huffing and sighing. The uh, Titan bar is softer inside than the Mars bar. So, you know, is the Mars bar worth however much more it's, it's charged? No. Pretty sure if you took out the packaging and gave it to someone, no one would know the difference. It's a bit controversial, but I'm not exactly a chocolate connoisseur. Even though my frame dictates that I probably am. Right, moving swiftly on to another British constitution. Everyone would have grown up having one of these in their lunchbox probably, I know I did. Penguin bar. Simple chocolate biscuit. And I think in um, Australia, do they call them Tam Tams or something? I'm not sure, that might be a different biscuit, who knows. But a penguin bar. Followed by, uh, another Audi pun here, a seal bar. Penguin, seals, you know, they all live in the same sort of area. Time for the infomo show, for weight, cost, that sort of thing. Isn't that interesting? So, penguin bar, pick up a penguin, and a seal bar. I don't know, it's a seal a seal, blow a seal, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's crack them open, shall we, and see what they're like. So, typical UK penguin bar, but, and then we're going to head for the Audi version of a seal bar. Bang! Again, slightly different textures, but unless you uh, memorize the uh, chocolate textures of different biscuits, then you wouldn't really know out of the packet anyway. Look very similar sizes completely. So once again, we'll get the chop, chop, chop. Ooh, crusty biscuit. Inside a penguin bar, biscuit, chocolate in the middle, chocolate on the outside, lovely. And inside the seal bar, biscuit, chocolate in the middle, chocolate on the outside, also lovely. So, penguin. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Possibly because I didn't put them in the fridge, so they're quite warm and soft. And it reminds me of my school pack lunches, taking them to school and having a soggy penguin at the bottom of the box. But the seal bar. Same texture, same biscuit, same crunch, same chocolate, right enough. You wouldn't know. No chance at all. So is it worth the additional money for an actual pickle penguin? Probably not. Audi so far as winning at the moment it's just let down a little bit by its crunchy chaff cakes well there we have controversial penguin news uh the penguins and the seal bars yeah they're really very similar so moving swiftly on to our next subject which is in fact snickers bars known throughout the world as snickers bars and then of course audi's own version which is called racer now for you who are younger than a certain age or outside the UK might not understand what a race has got to do with Snickers. Well, when I was growing up, Snickers weren't called Snickers. They were called Marathon Bars. And uh, how do you clever little advertising devils you? Marathon Racer. You see, it kind of works that way. So let's look at the infomercial. And, what do they call it infomercial? That's not infomercial. Look at the information. That would be better. Look at the information and let's come back and try them out. Wasn't that informative for us? 
So we have Snickers and Eraser. And it doesn't help because I put them the wrong way around. Snickers and Eraser. Let's have a little look, see, inside a Snickers bar. Pretty sure we all know what's inside a Snickers bar. Although people now have started, for some reason, on the internet calling Snickers, the top of Snickers veins, which kind of thoughts me up a bit. And then we have the Eraser bar. Which again, not quite as shiny, but longer and slimmer. Whereas the Snickers is shorter and fatter. I know the feeling. So let's have a look. I will definitely know the feeling after eating all this lot. Inside a Snickers bar, we have chocolate on the outside and we have peanuts on the middle. Typical Snickers. Inside a racer bar, we have ah, chocolate on the outside, peanuts in the middle, but smaller peanuts. Look a lot smaller. They're not as big. But I mean, I'm not a problem with that. I'm not a massive fan of having whole nuts in my... <laughs> I'll rephrase that before I finish that sentence. Whole nuts inside my chocolate to crunch on because I like smaller nuts. I can't, I can't get around this anyway. I like smaller nuts. Anyway, let's move swiftly on from this conversation. Snickers. When I came up with this idea, I didn't think about eating on camera. It's not the most attractive thing, so I do apologise, but... Snickers bar tastes like a Snickers bar, really, like that. Chocolate, caramel, nougat, and peanuts. Razor bar. Chocolate, caramel, peanuts, and nougat. Um, there's not a massive difference for him. I would say that the chocolate is probably a bit better quality on the Snickers bar, but I would hope so. And it's a bit softer as well. The new, the new yogurt and the caramel in the Razor bar is a bit harder to chew. But oh, I'm picking it. Very small faults here. Again, you probably wouldn't know the difference if you had took them out of the packaging. Which I don't know whether it's going to get Audi in trouble or not, because I kind of like saving money on these things. Well, after all that exciting sweetness, I think it's time we went on to something savoury. And here in the UK, we have something which is usually in like biscuit packs for Christmas, for cheese and biscuits and things like that, or smaller versions down the pub for a pub snack. But I like to buy them anyway. And it's these cheddars. They're a crunchy, savoury, cheesy biscuit. It's not a bad tagline, actually. But we also have the Audi version, which is Cheese Thins. Uh, yeah, Jacob was making sure I got them right around then. Jacob's Cheddar's and Audi's Cheese Thins. Now, I'm not going to need a knife for this because they're crunchy, savoury biscuits for cheese and things like that. So we'll jump straight in uh, and you go and check out the information on them. informative as always. I like doing those things, they're quite good fun. Uh, anyway, back to the main subject. Jacob's Cheddar. Audi Cheese Thin. Spot a difference? No, I had to double check when I took them out of the packet. But we've got Jacob's and we've got Audi. So let's try it. Jacob's. Crunchy, cheddar-y, cheesy goodness. There you go. And the Audi one. Perhaps slightly less cheddar-y, but bite-wise and look-wise and texture-wise, exactly the same. Don't tell anyone that they're exactly the same. <laughs> if you weren't eating them side by side, you wouldn't notice any difference at all. It's ridiculous. So yeah, definitely Audi are winning a lot here at the moment with their uh, a much cheaper product. So I'm glad I shopped there. And after that savoury break, we're back on the sweet things for our last item which many people in the UK will know. Many fond memories from their childhood. We have Maynard's and Bassett's Jelly Babies. That's right, they are little jellies shaped like babies. Um, I saw a video once on YouTube where I think Americans were trying them and they were felt a little strange to eat babies, but it's perfectly normal in the UK to eat babies. That sounds really wrong. That sounds terribly wrong, but Jelly Babies. And then of course we have Audi's version, which is Dominion, which sounds a bit doom and gloom, Dominion Jelly Babies. Jelly Babies. What do you think, eh? So, let's do the usual side-by-side -side comparison while you check out the information, and I'll see you in a moment. More 
more information there. Wasn't that lovely? We are here. Bassett Jelly Baby. Dominion Jelly Baby or Audi Jelly Baby. Exactly the same size. I just got the two different coloured ones out. So there's a bit of a comparison and a little bit of the... Co comparison? Is that the word I'm looking for? No, I'm looking for contrast. There we go. <laughs> well done. Lots of A-levels in art and graphic design. Well played there. Contrast. Um, we have two Jelly Babies. I mean, I don't know what I can say about them, that they're small, they're jelly, they're babies. So let's give it a go. Right, the uh, Bassett's one first, the original. <laughs> Many memories of sitting in the back of a car on long journeys as a child, eating a whole bag of those and feeling sick. But they're delicious as always. And now, the Dominion one. Hmm. Well, I mean, not too bad either way. The Bassett's one, yeah, I say memories, that's where. The Dominion one's a bit chewier, I think a little bit chewier, and it seems to be more flavoursome for some reason. I mean, whether it's because I chose a different flavour, but the, um, I think the black currant ones are normally quite strong anyway, and this one's a raspberry one, I think. But, again, would you be able to tell the difference if I hadn't shown you the packets and the information, those lovely, lovely information? No, I don't think you would, and I, I wouldn't either. So, well done, Audi, once again. A lot cheaper for the Audi base, and I believe even weight-wise, you get more for as well, so. Jelly Babies for the win. Well, there you go, folks. I hope we found that a little bit entertaining and a little bit useful, maybe. I don't know. Um, I have gone there to do my shopping for the last couple of years now, especially during lockdown, because they seem to have a lot of supply of everything that you needed, including toilet roll, which is quite useful at certain points. Um, it's a lot cheaper to go shopping there. I have noticed the prices are creeping up now, but then again, I'm not surprised because the prices are creeping up everywhere for everything at the moment due to this war and everything else. Like, it's a nightmare. But if you want to go and save some money, definitely hard to head across to Audi and you can buy their versions of things for a lot cheaper and you wouldn't really notice the difference. So if you're struggling a bit, there's a bit of sound advice for you. Now I have to point out, this is in no way sponsored by anyone. These are my opinions of the products. Feel free to go and check them out yourself and make your own opinions. Let me know in the comments section below if you've tried them and you don't like them. You don't think they're the same, please let me know. Uh, drop me a note in the comments below. But there you go, there's a little comparison video I've been wanting to do for ages and I've finally got around to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel. A thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. You peeps are amazing, thank you so much. Couldn't do it without you. Uh, you can also check out my social media. Um, there'll be links to this going up there as well. And other things, uh, who knows what I put on social media. It depends on what time of the early hours of the morning I wake up with a thought in my head because that seems to be how social media works these days. But once again, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again next time. Uh, stay safe, much love and eat jelly babies. Now I've got a pile of chocolate I've got to get through. It's hell out there, you know. Stay safe, much love. Bye.